Edge. Come on, she's come on. Come on. There we go. And this is Coach Brad Phillips. You're listening to Crowley's Ridge Basketball on Pioneer Digital Network. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and it is a gorgeous afternoon here at the Ridge. Crowley's Ridge College will have a Saturday afternoon doubleheader against the Warriors of Pecone College. The Warriors got up before the sun this morning and traveled six hours eastward to make it to the Ridge. It will be men and women for the teams today. Crowley's Ridge will be playing in their seventh game of the season. Pecone will be playing in their 11th, the Pioneers. Led by head coach Chris, uh, I'll say Chris Perkins. That will be in our next game. Pioneers led by head coach Brad Phillips in his inaugural season at the helm of the green and the black. He has led the Lady Nears to a 2-4 and four record to start off this season. They are averaging 70 points a game coming off of an 88-67 to 67 victory over Welsh College Thursday. Uh... uh Pioneers averaging 41% from the floor. Bacone sitting at 5-5 five and five on the year. Their last game against Texas A&M Texarkana. That was back on December 11th, so it has been uh, nearly a month since the Warriors have taken the floor. And that was an 86-75 victory for the Lady Warriors, to giving them a 5-5 five and five record. The Lady Nears being led by Octavia Lowry. No surprise there, as she's averaging quite a lot per game. Octavia Lowry, always, she is averaging, let's pull up what she's averaging nowadays. 22 buckets a game. Uh, she is uh, 14th in the nation in points per game at 22. The Lady Nears are doing very well defensively. They are ranked 4th in the nation in defensive rebounds per game, averaging, uh, pulling, pulling down 34 Defensive boards, also averaging number eight in the nation in blocks per game, averaging five stuffs a game. And they are holding their opponents to just a 31% shooting from the floor. Travia Woodruff, the super freshman, is third in the nation in 8.2 assists per game. And she is joined by Kiana Hardaway. Kiana Hardaway coming off of another double-double performance against Welsh. She is at, uh, averaging... Uh, at 13 points a game and averaging nine rebounds a game. So almost uh, averaging a double-double is Kiana Hardaway. So she is doing quite well for the Lady Nears to start this season in her inaugural year. Uh, again, we mentioned last week, or said last week, Thursday, Lady Nears have one new face on the court in uh, Marissa Hunsberger. She played and ha had some minutes Thursday and recorded her first collegiate buckets. We will also be joined by Kaya Williams uh, once the semester begins next week. Uh, and Olivia sitting next to me here is classes starting next week and just kind of a dejected head drop. But yes, classes will be starting here at the Ridge next Tuesday. And Kaya Williams will then become eligible to play for the Nears, and so she will be eligible to play for the Pioneers as they will uh, head to Lincoln Christian, as that will be at 5 p.m., uh, 3 p.m., rather, on January 16th will be Kaya Williams' first game. And uh, before that, we've got a game tonight between the Lady Pioneers of Crowley's Ridge and the Lady Warriors of Bacone College. We're going to take a timeout, and when we come back, we'll get this game set up a little bit more for you. So uh, give us just a short break. This is Crowley's Ridge College Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. One in three adults has prediabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your football buddy, your football buddy, or you, your best man. Your worst man. You, your dog walker. 
your cat jogger. While one in three adults has prediabetes, with early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its Prediabetes Awareness Partners. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in Philadelphia. Local time is 3.05 p.m. and the temperature is 67 degrees. At this time, you are now free to use your cellular devices. You know that feeling when you get to turn your phone on after the plane lands? You can have that feeling every time you drive. Make sure your cell phone is stowed away whenever you are behind the wheel. Visit StopTextStopRex.org, a message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Okay, forest animals, kids are coming to the forest, and it's up to us to make their visit a good one. Sparrow, have you practiced the most popular bird songs for the year? Of course. Catchy. I like it. River, how's the temperature? It's a refreshing 52 degrees, man. I love it. Uh, Turtle. He's not here yet, man. Uh, he's late every morning. Okay. Squirrel. The forest has been preparing just for you. To learn more about cool things to do in the forest, visit discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. If you love them enough to turn off your music and pretend like their music is your music. Ah, oh, this is mommy's jam. But surely you'll check nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Let's play it again. Check today at nhtsa.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Act Council. This is Marissa Sunsberger. You're listening to Curly's Ridge Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. Well, we welcome you back inside the Carter Activity Center. I'm Dustin Seymour, the Sports Information Director here at Crowley's Ridge College. We're about two minutes away from tip-off between the two and four Lady Pioneers of Crowley's Ridge College and the five and five Lady Warriors of Bacone College. Bacone in the uh, AII, American uh, Association of Independent Institutions. Uh, the Lady Warriors are averaging 81 points per game against the Lady Pioneers, 70 buckets a game. Pioneers shooting 41% from the floor. Bacone shooting 39 uh, from long range. Uh, the Lady Pioneers and uh, Bacone kind of about the same. Uh, Bacone shooting a little bit better from long range, averaging 30% uh, at eight long balls a game. The Pioneers at 24%, averaging six per game. From the charity stripe, uh, again, we talked to Brad Phillips uh, yesterday, Tuesday, Thursday. I'll get it right eventually. Talked to him Thursday, and he just kind of looked at the free throw percentage and just shook his head and said, well, I know what we need to practice on. As it stands, the Lady Pioneers have attempted 97 free throws and have only made 49. So they have a 50.5% free throw marking, which is not a good sign for the coaches. They are not going to enjoy that. On the other side, Bacone shoots 68% from the charity stripe. As we continue looking down these two squads, the Lady Pioneers averaging 47 rebounds a game. Bacone averaging uh, right at 45. Uh, both teams will assist quite often and quite well. Pioneers with 100 assists and Bacone at uh, 164. But remember, Pioneers have only played six games. Bacone has played 10. So both teams averaging about 17 uh, assists per game. Bacone does turn the ball over a little bit more than the Lady Nears, averaging 21 uh, giveaways a game, and Crowley's Ridge averaging giving the ball away 17 times per game. We're going to send it down to the floor where we'll have public address announcer Austin Schweihart, who will have our starting lineups to get you set, and uh, our prayer, our national anthem, and then we will be back to bring you the starters and get you set for Crowley's Ridge and Bacone College. We'll send it down to Austin Swihart. This is Crowley's Ridge College, a Lady Pioneer basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the campus of Crowley's Ridge College. For today's Alabama Metro featuring the visiting Lady Warriors of Bacon College. And your Crowley's Ridge College Lady Pioneer. Before we begin this evening, I will really ask you to please stand and we have our prayer. Then we remain standing for the Lady Warriors. Father, we thank you for 
And we welcome you back inside the Carter Activity Center as we get set to tip off between the Bacon College Lady Warriors and the Lady Pioneers of Crowley's Ridge College. Getting the start for head coach Jar Jaron Neal in his first season at the helm of the Lady Warriors. He will send Ileana Frenchman, a 5'7 junior out of Winnebago, Nebraska. She averages 12 points a game. We're also going to see Zariah Griffin, a 5'6 junior from Hobbs, New Mexico. She averages uh, seven, per, seven points a game. Alize Ruiz is a 5'6 sophomore out of Las Cruces, New Mexico. She is the team leader with 19 points per game. Layla Flores, a 5'6 freshman from Las Cruces, uh, averages eight buckets a game. And Eliza Gonzalez, wearing number 24, will be calling her name quite often. She averages 18 points a game. She'll shoot from long range quite often. Uh, she has made 11 thus far on the year. So it's Frenchman, Griffin, Ruiz, Flores, and Gonzalez. Across the way for the Lady Pioneers of Crowley's Ridge College, it's a familiar lineup that we saw beginning last night, or uh, Thursday, Octavia Lowry. 5'6", senior out of Gatewood, Missouri, averaging 22 points a game. Michaela Smith, a former Riverside Patriot, averaging seven buckets a game. She is connected on 10 long balls this year. Travia Woodruff, uh, averaging 10 points a game. She has stolen the ball away 20 times, has the former uh, Nettleton Raider. Uh, Kiana Hardaway, the reigning AII Player of the Week. The 5'10 freshman who averages 13 points a game. And in the middle is Nakiba Brandon, the 5'10 senior, averaging eight buckets per game. Crowley's Ridge College will be in their home whites. They wore their blacks Thursday against Welsh College, but they are back in their home white jerseys with a green shoulder yoke, green numerals, black outline, white trunks with... Some green stripes down the side. Bacone on the other side in all blacks. Black tops, black trunks, white stripes running parallel down the sides. Red numerals and white outlines. Clean uniforms on both teams. Be a very aesthetically pleasing game. As Bacone looks like it will send Alize Ruiz to the center dot. And she will tip off against Octavia, uh, against Nakiva Brandon. The Pioneers will be moving right to left. And the Pioneers will get the ball. And here is Travia Woodruff working the point for the Lady Pioneers. Again, moving right to left across your screen. Here's Nakiva Brandon off the left elbow to the right, right wing. Now the top of the key between the circles is Woodruff. Woodruff makes the man miss. She puts up a floater, and that is good. Travia Woodruff starts things off for a point for the Lady Pioneers. Make it two points. And now working the point for Bacone is going to be Griffin. Zariah Griffin looks to her right and finds Ruiz. Alize Ruiz goes back to Griffin. Griffin at the top of the key trying to find a seam. She does at the right block, but she is fouled on her way to the hoop. 
So, Jaron Neal, also the men's basketball coach, so pulling double duty is Coach Neal. And that's going to send uh, Zariah Griffin to the charity stripe. She shoots 48% from the floor, does the Hobbs New Mexico native. Three New Mexico uh, players on this Bacone College team as she sinks the first of two. Bacone being a... Uh, Indian school, Native American school, along the lines of uh, Haskell Indian Nations University. So a strong Native American heritage. She misses the second free throw, and getting the bruise is Flores trying to get the rebound. She went tumbling to the floor, but she collected the rebound for the Lady Warriors. Here's Griffin. Griffin will hand off to Flores. Flores pulls up for three. That misses. And the rebound's going to come down to Ruiz. Alice Ruiz goes to the left side to Flores. Flores' a shot misses, and here's Octavia Lowry. Octavia Lowry does not have the number. She thought somebody was behind her and went behind her back, and nobody was there, so it goes right to the hands. A good idea by Lowry. Flores fakes to the right side, goes up, misses her shot, rebounded by Nakiva Brandon. So both teams trying to get something up in the net. Kiana Hardaway will double dribble. So rough start for both squads, trying to get uh, everything settled down. Working the point, uh, Zariah Griffin. She is going to go now to the top of the key, pulling up for three is Frenchman, and she'll knock it down, does Ileana Frenchman. She has 31, make it now 32 three-pointers this season. And the Lady Warriors take a 4-2 to two lead. Dravia Woodruff finds to the right side. Nakiva Brandon. Brandon finds a cutting Hardaway. Hardaway goes up. Hardaway goes in. Kiana Hardaway makes it a tie 4-4 game. With the ball is Layla Flores. She looks to her left side now around the horn and finds Frenchman. Frenchman goes down to the low block to Ruiz. Back to Frenchman for three. And that rattles home. Correction, that is Eliza Gonzalez. Eliza Gonzalez records the bucket. Another three-pointer, so it is now 7-4 with 7.5 to go in the opening quarter. Michaela Smith pulling up for three. That misses far, and the rebound coming down to Ruiz of Bacone. She heaves it down. Octavia Lowry goes tumbling into her court. Or into her bench. Good job disrupting that play. So inbounding will be Flores. Flores finds Griffin. Griffin, as the field general, looks to her left to Ruiz. Ruiz for three. That hits the back iron. Rebound to Kiana Hardaway. She finds uh, uh, Woodruff. Woodruff's going coast to coast. Flings up a shot. She slides on her knees to the uh, uh, padding on the wall. Thankfully, that was there. As she is, uh, uh, will be the victim of a foul by Zariah Griffin. So that'll send... Travia Woodruff to the charity stripe. She averages uh, 53%. The first one will rattle home. One more free throw upcoming. And that is good as well. All right, if you will give me a moment. Our video is frozen currently, so we will try and get that reset for you. Yes, sir. Octavia Lowry pulls the three, so we apologize for the video being frozen, but we've got that settled and taken care of now for you. As the Lady Pioneers now take a 9-7 to seven lead. Again, a, a new camera with a huddle cam, which has an automatic uh, camera going front to back and left to right. Tries to follow the action, and sometimes it'll freeze up on us. There's no uh, uh, nobody actually manning the camera, and so thankfully that was one of the Bacone Warrior uh, girls on the bench letting me know that. Yeah, uh, definitely wanting to watch the game back home in Muskogee as it looks to be a good game thus far. 
The inbound comes in and finds Frenchman, and Frenchman's going to take one too many steps, and it is CRC basketball. 6.13 left to go. Lady Pioneers lead it 9-7. to seven. Travia Woodruff trying to call a play. Slow things down. It's been quickly back and forth down the court. She'll look to the left side to Octavia Lowry. Lowry head fakes the three. She's not used to dribble. Instead, she'll find Michaela Smith. Smith goes back and will have three seconds in the lane by Markaya Tucker-Williams. So it will go back to Bacone, 9-7. to seven. On the far side is Griffin, Zariah Griffin at the top of the key. She'll lose her dribble, now goes to the left side and finds Ruiz. Correction, that's Gonzalez. Gonzalez will have that stolen away and then back, and we're going to have a kerfuffle on the floor. And Coach, Perk, uh, Coach Phillips will get the timeout to save the basketball, save possession for the Lady Pioneers. And so we'll take the timeout as well. That's also going to be the media timeout. With five minutes and 32 seconds left to go in quarter number one of play, it is Lady Pioneers 9, Lady Warriors 7. This is Crowley's Ridge College Lady Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. You love them enough to sit through their favorite boy band with them. Well, sure, then you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're correctly doubled in the back seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Act Council. First, I hold my hands out like they're on a steering wheel. Then I look over my shoulder. One. Okay, cool guy. Two. Three times. Next. Oh, I put it in reverse. Meep, meep, meep. Then I take it up and down, up, up, and down. And that, kiddos, is called the forklift. Dance like a dad. It's a great way to make a moment with your kids. Now that's dancing. Sure beats flossing. Visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. This is Michaela Smith, and you're listening to Curly's Ridge Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. And we welcome you back inside the Carter Activity Center. Five minutes and 30 seconds left to go in quarter number one of play. The Lady Pioneers holding a two-point lead with the basketball. Travia Woodruff looks to her left side and finds Michaela Smith. Now to Octavia Lowry, back to Smith. Over to uh, Woodruff. Woodruff tries to heave down low, and instead that's going to be called up by the Lady Warriors. Here is Gonzalez. Gonzalez goes down low to a wide open Ruiz, and Ruiz gets the bucket to fall, and we are all tied up at 9 to 9. Dravia Woodruff crosses midcourt now for the Lady Nears. She tries to find a seam, and instead she'll be fouled. This foul is whistled on Flores. So, Octavia Lowry's going to inbound underneath her own hoop. She'll find Michaela Smith, who goes to the left side, to Travia Woodruff. Woodruff goes to the right side and finds Lowry. Lowry on the far wing is going to float it to Woodruff. Woodruff, 10 on the shot clock. Here's Michaela Smith open for three. That misses far. Rebound coming down to the Warriors. This is Griffin. Zariah Griffin at the top of the key. She'll drift to her right, passes off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez finds a seam, lays it in with the left hand, misses her shot, however. And the rebound, she will touch the baseline. Or no, we're going to have a foul. That's on Markaya Tucker-Williams will be whistled with a personal foul. Jermonte Hester will enter the game for the Lady Warriors. Short benches for both teams. The inbound pass. Goes outside. Ruiz with the ball. Goes outside. Goes to the top of the key and finds Gonzalez. Gonzalez goes up. That's off the window. No good. So we are still tied 9-9. Nine to nine. Three-pointer on the way from the Lady Pioneers, and that is off the mark.
Kiana Hardaway will re-enter for the Lady Pioneers. Bacone and Crowley's Ridge both. Uh, uh, Bacone especially having a difficult time finding the basket. Three, uh, 11 attempts, only connecting on three, but they are getting a bunch of shots off and getting those offensive boards. They currently have four offensive boards. Crowley's Ridge with zero O boards. Rebound tip two, and that's coming to Kiana Har uh, uh, Travia Woodruff. Woodruff finds Lowry. Octavia Lowry on the near wing goes out to Smith. Michaela Smith for three. Yes, sir. Michaela Smith splashes home the three-pointer. And gives uh, Lady Nears a three-point lead. 12 to 9, three minutes and 13 seconds left in this opening quarter. Going to the hoop is Flores, and Flores gets the bucket to fall. Travia Woodruff between the circles, looks to the left side to Lowry. Lowry for a long-range three-pointer. That's going to be short. She is going to get her own rebound. Goes out to Smith. Michaela Smith for the Rainmaker three. Yes, sir. Michaela Smith with back-to-back -back long balls. And it is now 15-11 to 11 in favor of Crowley's Ridge. Gonzalez with the ball. Goes behind her back. Tries to penetrate inside. She'll pass it right to Lowry. Octavia Lowry passes down to Woodruff. Woodruff goes up, tries to draw the foul, does not get the foul or the bucket. And coming down, a good move there from Flores to keep the ball for the black and red. Going outside to Frenchman. Frenchman goes to the right elbow, and that shot misses, and it's just going to go out of bounds. And that's going to be a foul on Dramonte Hester. So the Lady Nears will inbound after the Bacone foul. Travia Woodruff working the point for Crowley's Ridge. She goes to the left side to Octavia Lowry. Back to Woodruff. Woodruff at the top of the key. Will drift to her right to Smith. Michaela Smith to Woodruff at the top. Floating down to Brandon. Brandon quickly double teamed to Lowry. Lowry with 10 on the timer. Will go to Woodruff. Woodruff for three. Yes, sir. Lady Pioneers. On a tear, three for three from long range over the last three shots. 18 to 11, the Lady Pioneers take their biggest lead, now a seven-point lead. As Layla Flores and the Bacone Lady Warriors will see the recipient of a, an, an illegal uh, block there from... Octavia Lowry. Octavia Lowry trying to uh, break through a screen. And did so illegally. Hester with the ball on the far wing. She's now drifting. She crosses over, floats up a shot. She misses. However, she is fouled on her attempt and will go to the line shooting two. Correction, that is Alize Ruiz. So Alize Ruiz, who tops uh, uh, the lady... Uh, Warriors in pretty much every scoring statistic as she hits the first of two. She shoots 75% uh, from the charity strike. She is sixth in the nation in total rebounds, seventh in the nation in rebounds per game. Uh, so she is a rebounding machine, and she goes two for two from 15 feet at the charity strike. To the left side to Octavia Lowry. Lowry pulls up for three. That's going to be short. Rebound. It's just going to go out of bounds. Bacone's going to let it fall out of bounds, so it will be Warriors basketball. The inbound goes to Flores. Layla Flores will watch the Pioneer defense as she'll go to her left side. Now to Ruiz. Ruiz goes back up top to Hester. Hester pulling up for three. That's too hard. Rebounded by Lowry. We're in the final minute. Hail Mary down to Kiana Hardaway, who gets it up and off the glass. Good job by Hardaway with the assist from Octavia Lowry. And it's back to a seven-point lead under a minute to play in Q1. Flores with the ball at the top of the key. She'll go and find Ruiz. Ruiz at the free throw line, picking up her dribble, trying to get a player open. She finally finds Flores. Flores will charge. Flores got the bucket to fall, but those uh, points got erased 
And instead of putting two points into the scorer's column for Ruiz, they will take that off and add a personal foul. So the shot clock is turned off. Travia Woodruff's going to look to the left side of the near wing to Lowry. Lowry back to Woodruff. Woodruff testing the defense, goes out to Smith. Michaela Smith for three. That rattles out, rebound fault for. It will last be touched by Kiana Hardaway. So the Lady Warriors will have 8.6 seconds to go the length of the floor. This is Flores. Flores will go behind her back. They're not going to get a shot off. They did not get the shot off, and so after the initial 10 minutes of play, Crowley's Ridge will take a seven-point lead to the second quarter of play. Crowley's Ridge College, 20, and the Lady Warriors of Pecone College, 13. Keep it here. This is Crowley's Ridge College, Lady Pioneer Basketball, on the Pioneer Digital Network. My name is Grayson Taylor, and I'm the campus minister at the Ridge Connection, which is the campus ministry on the campus of Crowley's Ridge College. College is a time that is possibly the most formative time in any person's life. It's where you find out who you might marry, figure out what you want to do with your life, and you figure out if your faith is legitimate, or you figure out if you believe in God at all. At the Ridge Connection, we want to help you to find an authentic community of believers that is both encouraging and uplifting to you during your time in college. We hope that as you become more involved in our campus ministry that you actually leave campus more like Jesus than you were when you walked in. We want to help you connect to God, connect to other people, and of course connect on the campus of CRC. So follow us on social media. You can find us on Facebook at The Ridge Connection. You can find us on Instagram at The Ridge Connect. We are so excited to see what God does through The Ridge Connection on the campus of Curley's Ridge College. And we welcome you back inside the Carter Activity Center as Crowley's Ridge College holds a 20 to 13 lead over the guests from Bacone College. So Flores will have the ball to start things off. He'll go to the left side. Now around at the top of the key. Ruiz pulls up. That's off the window. No good. Rebound last touched by Hester and it goes out of bounds. Here is Caprice Anu in for Crowley's Ridge. Now out to Octavia Lowry. Lowry from the left elbow up and in Octavia Lowry. Twenty-two to thirteen, Crowley's Ridge holding an advantage. And that is another three-second violation, this time against Bacone. So now both teams whistled with that three-second violation. Kiana Hardaway with the basketball. She'll go up, and the paint misses. It rolls out. Ruiz is going to get that rebound. Going up with the ball, and that's going to rattle home. That is good. Eliza Gonzalez gets that. Three-pointer on the way. Misses. And here is Flores. Flores is going to cross the court, and she finds Frenchman. Frenchman floats it to Ruiz. Ruiz on the left, right elbow goes out to Flores. Flores pulling up for three. That misses. But underneath the bucket and a foul. So uh, Alize Ruiz will get the bucket and the foul. Free throw up, misses, so the old-fashioned three-point play is no good. Nearly getting the offensive rebound was Bacone. 
But CRC will maintain possession. Here's Caprice on. It was wide open on the left block, but couldn't control the pass. Here's Kiana Hardaway to Woodruff. Woodruff at the far wing, now to Hardaway. Hardaway's going to float down to Anu. Anu in the paint. She'll be partially blocked. Now we're going to have a tie-up jump ball. Possession arrow favoring Crowley's Ridge. Correction. No, that's uh, Yeah, it was Crowley's Ridge, and they handed it to a Bacon player. I'm sure the ladies in black were just going to quietly uh, keep going. Referees are going to confer the possession arrow pointing this direction. Travia Woodruff uses the confusion to send it out to Octavia Lowry. However, she misses her three-pointer and all the confusion for not how... Oh, Travia Woodruff almost got the steal, but instead she kind of passed it out into uh, uh, the crowd here. So it will still be a Bacone basketball. Flores is going to cross midcourt. She heaves it to the left side. He's it right to Nakiba Brandon. And Brandon said, I wasn't ready for that. Nakiba said, I want to play, but uh, I'm currently on the bench. So it will be Crowley's Ridge basketball moving right to left. Kiana Hardaway. Well, drift slowly to her left. Now changes course to the right side to Octavia Lowry on the near wing. Lowry goes to Anu. Anu goes to Hardaway. Hardaway will post up, spins up, misses her shot. She'll get her own rebound, muscles it, misses it. Another offensive board. She'll muscle and finally gets a foul. She was trying for a foul or a bucket, whatever it would take. In about three tries, she finally gets whistled, and it is uh, Germonte Hester as the guilty party. So Kiana Hardaway will go for two. She'll hit the first. Second upcoming. And it was good as well. Javante Hester will check back out. And Zariah Griffin will re-enter the contest for the black and red. Griffin, between the circles, will look to her right side to Frenchman. Frenchman thought about a three-pointer. Instead goes to Gonzalez off the right block. She backs up. Now will drive inside. Stolen. And Octavia Lowry and Travia Woodruff both couldn't decide who wanted the steal. So Travia Woodruff's going to knock it out of the hands of the Warriors, and it's just going to dribble harmlessly out of bounds. So no harm, no foul. However, the Warriors need to recognize there are six seconds on the timer. Shot is up. However, Nakiva Brandon will be whistled with a foul. So that will send Alizea Ruiz. 5'8", sophomore out of Las Cruces, New Mexico. First free throw up and in. Twenty-four eighteen, Crowley's Ridge holding an advantage midway through the second quarter of play. And Ruiz hits the second of two. Travia Woodruff will cross midcourt. Going to the left side to Lowry. Lowry to Michaela Smith at the top of the key. Smith bounce pass to Lowry on the near wing. Lowry will use her dribble now. Drifts even further. And another three-second violation. Another three-second violation on Markaya Tucker-Williams. So Markaya trying to be that center in the lane. But needing to get out of that paint within three seconds. And unable to do that for the second time this evening. Afternoon, rather. It's going to be weird being an afternoon game. Gonzalez will float inside, passes off to Griffin, wide open underneath off the left block, and she'll get it up and in, and now it is a three-point deficit for the Lady Warriors. Kiana Hardaway around the horn to find uh, 
Woodruff, and Woodruff gets tripped up a bit. Bacone warning a travel. Here's Octavia Lowry for three, and that's going to hit nothing but the out-of-bounds line. So once again, it will be Bacone basketball. Bacone now a one-possession game. So Gonzalez working the point now. She faked right, went left. Now a good pass to a cutting floor as beautiful play, and there's a blocking foul underneath. I believe that will be whistled on uh, Nakiva Brandon. So that's going to send Layla Flores, the 5'6 freshman, also from Las Cruces, joining Alize Ruiz. Shot is up. That misses. Ruiz previously playing at Colby Community College in Kansas as she hits the second. Flores from Mayfield High School there in Las Cruces. So it is now 24-22. Michaela Smith on the near wing goes to the right side, back to Woodruff. Travia Woodruff tries to uh, scan the defense. Woodruff on the far corner. She'll drive the baseline, tries to pass to Lowry, and so that's stolen away cleanly by Gonzalez. Gonzalez could tie the game. She plops, she shots, she ties it. Eliza Gonzalez ties the game at 24. We are exactly halfway through the second half, second quarter. And we are all wrapped up, tied up, tangled up at 24. Michaela Smith will be fouled. And with that, we're going to have our next break. So with 4.51 left to go in the ha uh, half, Curly's Ridge will have a tie game with Bacone College 24-24. This is Crowley's Ridge College Lady Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. To protect her home and family in a disaster, Karen was willing to wade through water, mud, and insurance paperwork. Yeah, I can do this. You go, Karen. By simply understanding and updating what her insurance covers and doesn't cover now, she'll be better prepared no matter when disaster strikes. Learn other simple ways to protect your home and family before a natural disaster at ready.gov. That's ready.gov. A message from FEMA and the Ad Council. My mother was very familiar with her neighborhood, but one day she stopped at the stop sign and she wasn't even really sure where she was at. When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council. This is Kiva. You're listening to Lady Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. We welcome you back inside the Carter Activity Center. Four minutes and 51 seconds remain in the opening half. Travia Woodruff's going to inbound. That's going to go Octavia Lowry. Now underneath, goes back out to Octavia Lowry at the top of the key. Lowry at the free throw line is going to put up a shot that rattles home. Here is Gonzalez. Gonzalez moving left to right. Goes to the right side and finds Flores. Flores, three-pointer on its way. That bounces, hits the window, and is good. Octavia Lowry on the near wing. Drifts to the right side, finds Hardaway. Now that is Woodruff. I get the Jonesboro girls mixed up more than I should. Here is Michaela Smith. Floats it misses the shot. That's going to be rebounded by Gonzalez. Four minutes to go in the half. Gonzalez heaves down to Frenchman. Frenchman goes back to Gonzalez on the near wing. Pulls up for three. That rattles out. Rebounded by Woodruff. Travia Woodruff flings up a floater. Misses the shot. Nikiva Brandon gets the board. And that rattles out. Rebound by the... Warriors, it's two on one. A beautiful step there from Alize Ruiz. Splitting the defenders all by herself, and she gives Bacone a three-point lead, 29-26. 
Travia Woodruff between the circles will scan a 2-3 defense. Octavia Lowry for three. Yes, sir. Octavia Lowry will not us back up at three. 29-29. Three minutes left to go. Before they go to the locker rooms, Gonzalez goes to the right side to Griffin. Back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez thought about the three-pointer and will try to drive in. Instead, she'll be fouled. That foul will be whistled on Markiah Tucker-Williams. Marissa Huntsberger and Kiana Hardaway back into the contest. They'll replace Travia Woodruff and Michaela Smith. Inbound to Flores will be out of the reach of her intended target, Zariah Griffin. So it's Crowley's Ridge basketball. Octavia Lowry is between the circles. She'll fling it to the right side to Hardaway. Kiana Hardaway goes back to Lowry. And Lowry to Hardaway. One touch passes to uh, Brandon. Here's Lowry. Brandon wanting to set a screen. Instead, Octavia's going to go inside the paint. She misses her shot. And the rebound coming down to Germonte Hester. Heaves down to Flores. Flores on the near wing goes to the left side to Griffin. Griffin head fakes the three. Now passes out to Ruiz. Ruiz's three-pointer on the way. It misses, and the rebound is an over-the-back violation. Germonte Hester went over the head of Marissa Huntsberger. And you uh, cannot do that. So Crowley's Ridge will have the basketball full-court press put on now by the Lady Warriors. Two minutes to go. Octavia Lowry finds Kiana Hardaway. Hardaway spinning, and she spins her wheels and is whistled with a travel violation. Gonzalez will work the way across the court. Travia Woodruff prepares to re-enter the contest. Ruiz and Lowry, the team leaders, respectively, with 10 points each. Three-pointer on the way missed, and it goes off the fingertips of the Warriors. No, it goes off the fingertips of the Lady Pioneers. And Bacone wants to take a timeout, so we'll take it as well. With a minute 41 left to go in the half, uh, the Pioneers and the Warriors are tied up at 29 each. This is Crowley's Ridge College Lady Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. I think it's just vapor. Vaping is safer than smoking, isn't it? There's really not even that much nicotine in them, right? One vape pot has as much nicotine as one pack of cigarettes. My kid? My kid knows it's dangerous. 5.4 million American kids vape, and most think it's harmless. Get your head out of the cloud. Talk to your kid about vaping. Visit talkaboutvaping.org. That's talkaboutvaping.org. Brought to you by the American Lung Association and the Ad Council. This is Kiana Hardaway, and you're listening to the Lady Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. 141 left to go in the half. The inbound finds its way to Griffin at the top of the key. Griffin will drift a little to the left side. Now it goes back to the line, and we will have an offensive foul off the ball. This one whistled on Dramonte Hester. Hester with four personal fouls. Before we get to the second half. So the inbound finds Travia Woodruff at the top of the key. Woodruff will bounce past the Hardaway. One touch passes to Brandon. Brandon off the window and good. So Nakiba Brandon gives the Lady Pioneers back a two-point lead with uh, 70 seconds left to go. 75 actually. Gonzalez hands off to Frenchman. Frenchman at the top of the key. Passes to the right side to Ruiz. Ruiz at the free throw line. Goes outside to Gonzalez. Wide open from the far corner for three. And she knocks it down. Under a minute to go here in the half. Octavia Lowry. 
Looks behind her to Travia Woodruff. Back to Lowry. Lowry pulling up for an answering three-pointer, and she'll knock it down. Yes, sir, Octavia Lowry. So it is 34-32. About 12 minutes, seconds separate shot and game clock. Gonzalez with the ball. Hands off to Frenchman. Frenchman spinning around. Back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez on the near wing. Will drift. She's at the free throw line. 20-foot jumper. Misses, but she gets her own rebound. She'll pinball off of Nakiva Brandon. Puts up a shot. She misses, and that's going to be rebounded by Markiah Tucker-Williams. 20 seconds left to go. Here's Octavia Lowry. Head fakes the three. She'll drive inside. Flings the shot up. Misses. She'll get her own board. She'll back up. Pulling up for three-pointer. Rattles out. Nakiva Brandon with the board. Bucket and foul. Layla Flores, a bit winded, had a shoulder, trying to draw a foul from Octavia Lowry, so a bit winded there. So Nakiva Brandon with a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Brandon currently shooting 38% uh, from the charity stripe, but she knocks that one home. 37-35 with seven seconds to go. Gonzalez will cross midcourt. Three seconds left to the right side to uh, Ruiz. Ruiz puts up a desperation shot, and that misses. So we will head to intermission with the Lady Pioneers holding a 37-32 advantage over the guests from Bacone College. So heading to the break, Bacone 32, Crowley's Ridge 30. Seven. We'll take the time out, give you some halftime stats after this. This is Crowley's Ridge College, the Lady Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneers Digital Network. Olivia from Washington. <clears throat> Laid off and trying to keep our little kids from realizing that mommy and daddy haven't eaten in a while. Roger from California. I'm grateful we could afford our son's surgery. I'm nervous that now we can't really afford food. Daniel from California. Choosing whether to pay the rent or pay to fix the car to get to work doesn't leave us with much at all. Now we can't even pay for meals. Donna from Louisiana. The storm just hit, and we went from donating to the food bank to needing it. Keisha from South Carolina. I've been skipping meals so my two kids can eat, but... Filling up on water doesn't really work. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Hi, my name is Carson Bell. I'm the minister at the Walcott Church of Christ. This year, we'd like to invite you to come to our Christian Disciple Leadership Lecture, which will be held January 29th and 30th. It will be hosted at the Walcott Church of Christ. The dates will be January 29th and 30th, starting at 5.30 p.m. for dinner and ending at 8 o'clock that night. And then on Saturday, it will start at 9 a.m. and go till 3.30. This year, there will be a question and answer period for the final 10 minutes of each session, so be ready if you have any questions. Due to COVID-19, all temperatures will be taken at the building when you enter, and masks will be required. There will be a box of masks and hand sanitizer throughout the building for your use. We'd love to welcome you out to this, and we hope to see everyone there. For further information, and if you have any further questions, please visit the Walcott Church of Christ Facebook page. Feel free to message us there. This is Octavia Lauer. You're listening to Curly Ridge Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. Welcome you back to the Carter Activity Center. If you know me at all, you know that I love some good history and things of that nature. And again, this is the uh, first time in quite a while that the Lady Pioneers have played Bacone in, in about uh, 20 minutes or so whenever the men's team rolls around. It'll be the first time that Bacone and Crowley's Ridge men will have faced each other. Bacone College is the oldest continually operated institution of higher education in Oklahoma. Founded in 1880 as Indian University. Uh, by Almond C. Bacone, and so that is where it comes from. He was a professor, a missionary to the uh, Native Americans in the uh, Oklahoma Territory, and so it does have a bit of a tie to American Baptist churches, but uh, mostly the Muscogee Creek Nation, and so it is one of those, uh, a school that is uh, affiliated with Native Americans, uh, trying to look down to see about the uh, uh, notable alumni. And none of the uh, names jump out to me 
Joseph Medicine Crow. That is a big time name. He is a uh, Joseph Medicine Medicine Crow is an alumnus of Bacone College. But you're not here for a history lesson. Uh, you're here for Lady Pioneer and Pioneer Basketball. Or if you're tuning in from Muskogee, you're here for Bacone College Basketball. As it stands, the Crowley's Ridge College Lady Pioneers holding a 37-32 lead at the break. Uh, the Lady Pioneers shooting 38% from the floor. Bacone shooting 37 from Long Range. Crowley's Ridge 6 of 16 for 38%. Bacone 4 of 12, 33% from the charity stripe. Lady Pioneers have stepped to the line five times and have knocked all five of those down. Bacone 6 of 9 from the free throw line. Uh, Bacone with 19 rebounds. Crowley's Ridge with 20 Two, nine helpers for Crowley's Ridge, seven for Bacone, uh, eight turnovers for the Warriors, seven for the Lady Pioneers, one block from Bacone. Uh, neither team has any bench points. Uh, neither team has gone to the bench very often. So as we look at the Warriors, there are two players with double digits, both with 10. Alize Ruiz and Elisa Gonzalez, both with 10 points. Uh, Ruiz has six rebounds, Gonzalez with four. Octavia Lowry leads the Lady Pioneers with 13 points. Seven coming from Travy Woodruff, six out of Kiana Hardaway, and five from Nikiva Brandon. And so coming off, uh, both, it's going back and forth. The Lady Pioneers will pull ahead, and then Bacone comes right back. And then at times, Bacone will pull slightly ahead, and then the Lady Pioneers come right back. So it's a real seesaw affair, at least in the first half. Uh, the first half, the Lady Pioneers had uh, first quarter, the Lady Pioneers ended with 20 points to Bacone's 13, and the Warriors came out scoring 19 points in the second quarter to Crowley's Ridge's 17. So, about nine minutes left. As you can see on the floor, the men's teams from both of these respective colleges are warming up. They will play immediately following the women. About uh, 15, 20 minutes worth of official warm-up for both teams. And... Uh, on the Facebook, on the YouTube streams, we will end the Lady Pioneer stream, and we will restart uh, uh, when it's right about time for the men's game. And the audio stream will just stay right where it is. But uh, we'll take an extended timeout and then get you set for the second half of Crowley's Ridge and Bacone College women's basketball. This is Crowley's Ridge College Lady Pioneer basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network.
Well, we welcome you back to the Carter Activity Center. Again, I am Dustin Seymour, the Sports Information Director here at Crowley's Ridge College. The Lady Pioneers holding a 32-37-32 to 30, to victory. As you can tell, numbers are not my strong suit. 37-32, Lady Pioneers holding the lead over the Macon College Warriors. Octavia Lowry leading the Lady Nears with 13 points. Macon having... Uh, Alizé Ruiz and Eliza Gonzalez both with 10 points each. And it's going to be Bacone basketball to start off the second half. Gonzalez is going to inbound and we're underway to start the second half of play. Griffin with the basketball as the Bacone Warriors move right to left now. Flores passes to the right side, and that's going to find Gonzalez. Gonzalez spins around, goes behind her back, and finds Frenchman. Frenchman to Flores. Flores spins around, jump shot, and misses. She goes tumbling to the hardwood. Misses her shot, but there was underneath Ruiz. And Ruiz will head to the charity stripe. As you can hear Coach Phillips saying, we talked about that just literally 20 seconds ago. Ruiz gets the bucket and the foul and the extra point, so it is 37 to 35. Travia Woodruff directing traffic. She'll find Nakiva Brandon to a cutting Hardaway. Hardaway off the right block. She'll be mi she'll miss, but she gets her own board. Underhands to Woodruff. Woodruff puts up a floater that's short. Rebound, fight, fight. It's going to go down to Griffin of the red and black. Griffin heaves it down court. It's going to find Frenchman back to Griffin. Stolen by uh, Travia Woodruff. Woodruff slow to get up. Kind of went tumbling into the scorer's table. She's all right, thankfully. And on the other side, Octavia Lowry is fouled. No, she gets the bucket and the foul. So she'll try for the and one. That's going to be whistled on Alize Ruiz. 39-35. to 35. Lady Pioneer still holding a lead. Three, uh, the old-fashioned three-point play is good. As Octavia Lowry gets the bucket to fall. Flores with the basketball. Flores is going to move to her left side. Now it's going to hand off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez thought about the three-pointer, still thinking about it. Now she'll drive in, spins around, floater up, misses. Underneath is Ruiz, and Ruiz will be fouled. So Kiana Hardaway gets whistled with her third violation of the afternoon. And Alice Ruiz will go back to the charity stripe. Ruiz shooting 75% coming into the game. Leading, well, actually, uh, Ileana Frenchman leads the team with 7 out of 7, so she shoots 100%, but Alizé Ruiz at 75%. First is up, and it is out. So one free throw up coming. Five points separate the two teams. Going up, that is short, so no points coming from that. Kiana Hardaway throws to Octavia Lowry. She wasn't looking, but she turned around quickly enough to get it and maintain possession. To Lowry on the near wing. Lowry thought about the three-pointer. She's going to go inside. Now out to Smith. Michaela Smith for three. That misses on the right side. Coming down to Frenchman. Frenchman's going to pass off to Griffin. Zariah Griffin will cross midcourt. She'll drift to her right. She'll pick up her dribble and goes outside to an open Flores. Flores for three, and she drains the three-pointer. Does Layla Flores, the 5'6 freshman. Kiana Hardaway at the free throw line goes out to Woodruff. Travia Woodruff scanning the defense, crosses out over one touch pass to Octavia Lowry. Lowry with 10 on the shot clock will dribble to her left. She finds an open seam. She puts up the three pointer, and yes, sir, she hits it. Octavia Lowry now with her fourth three pointer of the evening. And it is now 43 to 38. Crowley's Ridge with the lead. Shot coming up from Gonzalez, misses, rebounded by Hardaway.
Kiana Hardaway goes out to Michaela Smith. Smith pulling up for three. She was all balanced, but yes, sir, she'll hit it. That's the Lady Pioneers have uh, gone on tears with those three-pointers. They just find the uh, open area, and that is eight long balls for Crowley's Ridge. Spinning around is Gonzalez. Three-pointer up, that misses, and that is Octavia Lowry with the rebound. Three-pointer up, and that one misses. Shot is up, and that is a foul on Kiana Hardaway. Bucket counts. Markiah Tucker-Williams will re-enter for Crowley's Ridge. So today's game already partially through the second half, through the third quarter, so we're going to have a lane violation. The free throw sunk, but they're going to erase it, and then a technical foul. Flores had the free throw, was uh, uh, whistled with a lane violation, and apparently was saying something on her way. Uh, back to the floor, and the referee was right there and immediately stuck up the tee for the technical foul, and she's still unhappy. So Flores with 11 points whistled with the tech. So Octavia Lowry will shoot one, and she'll hit that. First of two on the technical fouls. Second free throw up, and that rattles out. So Markai Tucker-Williams is going to inbound with her Lady Nears up 7-0. Plus. Trying to say midway through, the Lady Pioneers have already had hit their season high in three-pointers. They've knocked on the door. They've had seven three-pointers three times this season in uh, uh, the seven ga six games that we played. And finally breaking that, they have hit eight today. That's a season high. Uh, Davy Lauer to Michaela Smith for three. Can she make it nine? No, the rebound's going to come down to Ruiz. Ruiz is going to find Gonzalez. And then a foul underneath. Oh, a jump ball, rather. And it is Crowley's Ridge basketball off the jump ball. Makaya Tucker-Williams inbounds to Travia Woodruff. Nakiva Brandon on the near wing. Has the ball on her hip. Now goes off to Woodruff. Woodruff at the top of the key. Scans Baco now finds Octavia Lowry. Lowry finds the seam, goes inside, and she will charge. And Coach Phillips, nearly halfway out the floor, saying that she was in that zone where it should not be a charge. But those uh, uh, cries fall on. Uh, intentionally deaf into ears. Referees listen to everything, but will never change their calls. Here is Gonzalez. Gonzalez up, bucket, and foul. That's on Michaela Smith. So that will send Elisa Gonzalez, shooting her 73% Marking from the floor. Shot is up. Shot is in. So she gets the three-point play. And after this, the Warriors on a Pioneer foul will go to line to shoot two. 
Here is Octavia Lowry for three. Yes, sir. She splashes it home. Give Octavia Lowry five long balls. Nearly stolen away. Instead, here is Griffin. Griffin bounce pass to Ruiz. Ruiz floats it up, misses. And a jump ball as the referee whistled for the jump ball. Markiah Tucker-Williams wrestled it out, but it will be Bacone basketball on the other side of the break. Curly's Ridge leading it by seven. Five minutes left in the half. Uh, in the quarter number three, 50-43. This is Curly's Ridge College, Lady Pioneer basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. If a natural disaster comes knocking, how prepared is your family? You can't just close the door on earthquakes, floods, or hurricanes and hope they go away. That's why it's important to make a plan now. Ready.gov slash plan has the tools and tips you need to prepare your family for an emergency. So if disaster shows up at your doorstep, you'll be ready. Visit ready.gov slash plan and make a plan today. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. If you love them enough to barely sleep, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Act Council. This is Caprice Anu, and you're listening to Lady Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. Four minutes and 59 seconds left to go here in the penultimate quarter. Pioneers leading at 50 to 43. The Bacone College Lady Warriors sitting at 5 and 5 on the season. Crowley's Ridge finally getting some playing uh, time on their seventh game of the season. Finally getting to play more than one game a month. Octavia Lowry has tied her season high of five three pointers in a game. Frenchman thought about the three pointer and said it goes outside to Griffin. Griffin backs off between the circles. She calls for a screen. Griffin's going to go in, puts up a floater. That rattles out, rebounded by Nakiva Brandon. Brandon finds Woodruff. Woodruff on the far sideline. We'll find Michaela Smith on the near sideline. Lowry thought about the three. Bacone knows what a threat she is from deep. Here's Michaela Smith to Travia Woodruff. Woodruff, 15 on the shot clock. She'll drive inside, heaves it out to Lowry. Lowry. Will dribble to her right, seven on the timer. She spins around, makes the man bite, jump, hit. Octavia Lowry gets it. 52-43 after the spin around jumper by Octavia Lowry. Gonzalez on the near wing, faked left, goes right, now dribbling to her right. She loses control of it, but she is able to find Frenchman. Here's Ruiz. Ruiz head fakes a pass. Goes outside to Flores. Flores pulls up a three, and that will spin around the entirety of the rim and come out. Ooh, that's not happy. Here is Travia Woodruff. Goes up, trying to get it, and she will be fouled. Nearly tumbling over C.J. Maxwell, who's making his way to the Pioneers locker room. So Travia Woodruff will head to shoot two. Woodruff's first free throw misses off the back iron. She has one more upcoming. Second free throw is up, and it is true. Soraya Griffin slowly makes her way across the timeline, calling her play. She moves to the left side. Beautiful bounce pass there from Gonzalez to Flores. I mean, that, that was picture-perfect textbook pass from Flores to, from Gonzalez to Flores. And Flores makes it 53-45. Outside to Lowry. Lowry thought about an NBA range three-pointer. Instead, she'll be fouled here by Ileana Frenchman. So the Lady Pioneers will inbound 18 ticks on the timer. Reminder, immediately after this game, Crowley's Ridge men will take on the same Bacone Warriors. 
Octavia Lowry heaves it to the top of the key where a waiting Travia Woodruff will receive it. Back to Lowry. Lowry's now at the top of the key herself. Hands it right back to Woodruff. Ten on the shot clock. Goes to Lowry. Lowry on the far wing. Five on the shot clock. Heaves up an NBA range three. Misses. It's going to go off the rim and it's going to go sailing into Crowley's Ridge's locker room. So Zariah Griffin coming out of the locker room. And now working the point. Crosses midcourt, does Griffin. Griffin to her left, finds uh, Gonzalez to Flores, and it goes out of bounds, but it was last touched by Crowley's Ridge. They were trying to run that same play, but added an extra pass. But uh, Crowley's Ridge a little bit in the lanes there. The inbound finds Griffin. Griffin shakes the pass. And she'll be fouled by Markaya Tucker-Williams. And Tucker-Williams just in desperation flings her head to the sky. As she's whistled with her third foul. So go to the line shooting two will be Zariah Griffin. First of two from Griffin upcoming. And that rattles home. Fifty-three forty-seven. Two minutes, thirty-seven seconds left in quarter number three. That rattles out. And keep it, Brandon, with the rebound. Travia Woodruff between the circles. Hands off to Brandon. Akiva Brandon finds Markaya Tucker Williams off the right block. She spins around and she'll walk. That'll be Lady Warrior basketball. Nobody wants to inbound for Bacone. Finally, Gonzalez says, okay, fine, I'll do it. To Zariah Griffin. Griffin crosses midcourt. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Pioneers up 53-46. Both teams in the bonus. Pass down to Ruiz. No look pass to Frenchman. Beautiful play from Ruiz to Frenchman. 53-48 now. Outside, now to the top of the key, to Woodruff. Woodruff spinning in, puts up a shot, and that is good. Davy Woodruff gets the ball. And the bucket. 90 seconds left in the quarter. Going outside, here is a three-pointer on the way from Frenchman. She misses, and Travia Woodruff gets the rebound. Woodruff bounce pass to Nakiva Brandon. Beautiful play from Brandon there to lay it in. And a lay it home. 57-48. Frenchman passes down. Now back to Frenchman. Now back down to Gonzalez. Gonzalez shot us up and out. Getting the rebound is Ruiz. She missed that putback. And Akiva Brandon gets it for the Pioneers. Here's Travia Woodruff. Ice skating through the lane. But she missed her shot. And it'll be Bacone basketball. Calling her play is Zariah Griffin. Passing to the left side to Frenchman as she finds Ruiz. Ruiz drives into the lane, flinging up a shot. She'll be fouled there by Nakiba Brandon. She just kind of spun around, and Nakiba was just kind of right there. That's... No, oh, they're calling that on Markaya Tucker-Williams. I thought that was on Nakiba. So Tucker-Williams will take a seat with only one foul left in her pocket. Free throw upcoming. It is up. It is in. Second free throw up on its way, and it is good. Alzea Ruiz goes two for two, and it is still a seven-point deficit. That's kind of where it's sat. 
It's been just about seven points separating the two teams. Here's Nikiva Brandon off a great pass from Travia Woodruff, and that'll turn off the shot clock. And now it is a nine-point spread. Gonzalez going outside to Flores. Flores is going to pass it, and it's tipped into the hands of Nakiva Brandon. Eight seconds left. Travia Woodruff's going to go to Lowry. Lowry pulling up for a buzzer beater three. That's short. It's going to go out of bounds. There's still going to be 2.3 seconds left for Bacone to have a desperation pass and shot. So Raya Griffin saying, we need some help over here. She heaves it down and finds Alizea Ruiz. Alizea Ruiz heaves the three, and she misses. And so that will do it for the first 30 minutes of play. We will have a short pause and get you set for the final period. As it stands, Crowley's Ridge leads 59-50. to 50. This is Crowley's Ridge College, Lady Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. Hey, Dad, your prescription will be ready in just a minute. Hey, Dad, your laundry will be ready in just a minute. Dad, your lunch will be ready in just a minute. Hey, honey, why don't you take a minute? When you help care for a loved one, you give them as much time as you can. But it's just as important to take time for yourself. AARP can help. Find free care guides to support you and your loved one at aarp.org slash caregiving. That's aarp.org slash caregiving. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Neil Armstrong waited six hours and 39 minutes to step onto the surface of the moon. Jackie Robinson waited 20 months to play his first game with the Brooklyn Dodgers. And even DiCaprio had to wait 22 years to win an Oscar. You can wait until your destination. Don't text and drive. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Papa, why can't we telegraph while riding a horse? Son, there ain't no one to blame but Jeffro. He was riding old Betsy the Stallion, tip-tapping away at his telegraph, and blam, ran right into the side of the saloon. Well, if Jeffro can't do it, neither should you. Don't text and drive. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. This is Coach Brad Phillips. You're listening to Crowley's Ridge Basketball and Pioneer Digital Network. Welcome back inside the Carter Activity Center as Crowley's Ridge holds a 59-50 lead over the guests from Bacone College. Visiting Paragold from Muskogee, Oklahoma. Travia Woodruff and her Lady Nears will start the final quarter. With the ball, Octavia Lowry's at the top of the key. Lowry goes to the left side to, to uh, Woodruff, to Smith. Smith goes up and lays it in, and that is good. Frenchman got a little tied up and a little pain in that left foot, it appears, but she is up and running. Gonzalez with the ball. Gonzalez is going to go to the right side. Trying to find a seam. She does. She goes up. She misses. Rebound coming down to Caprice Anu. Travia Woodruff, scanning Bacone, tries to find an open player. Outside to Octavia Lowry. Lowry thought about the three-pointer. We'll find Woodruff. Woodruff will dribble to her left. Now goes to Lowry. Lowry thought about pulling up for a three. Now we'll go to the left elbow. That's up. That's out. Rebounded by Flores. Correction, that's Ruiz. To Griffin off the left elbow. And she's going to be fouled by... Uh, Travia Woodruff, who stands mouth agape, thought that that was all ball. The referee you know, having keeping a side eye on her to make sure she didn't say anything else, but she just kind of st stood mouth agape. But it's going to be two free throws after Woodruff picks up her second personal foul. Griffin will rattle the first one out. Sag a free throw on its way, and it is short. And Michaela Smith was on the baseline when she grabbed the rebound. So the two free throws were for naught. However, Michaela Smith got the board, but I could see from up here that her right foot was sitting on that line. 
Soraya Griffin now finds Gonzalez. Gonzalez to Ruiz. Ruiz up, and she'll be fouled by Caprice Anu. So that's going to put Alice A. Ruiz to the charity stripe. She'll hit the first of two. Second free throw for Marie Ruiz on its way, and it is right down Broadway as well. Dravia Woodruff crosses midcourt to the left side, back to Woodruff. Woodruff to Smith. Smith back to Woodruff at the top of the key. To Michaela Smith, going to play back and forth, play catch a bit as it goes back to Woodruff on the near wing, back to Smith. Smith pulling up for three. Misses short. Almost getting the rebound was Nakiba Brandon, but instead it's going to go down to Frenchman. Frenchman had to wait on it a little bit. She goes up. She goes in. Ileana Frenchman makes it 61-54. Eight minutes to go in the contest. Michaela Smith will walk with it. Bacombe basketball. Flores inbounds to Zariah Griffin. Griffin passes back to Flores to Ruiz. Ruiz goes up. That misses. Rebound continuing to be fought for. That's Michaela Smith. Kiana Hardaway finds second gear. Thought about going coast to coast. and said she'll pass out to Octavia Lowry up for three. Yes, sir. That barely made the net move. And Octavia Lowry has her sixth three-pointer of the night. That gives her the season best. She's still two three-pointers off of her career best. And that is a foul on Kiana Hardaway. Getting a bit of a blocking foul. That's her third personal foul. Inbounding is Flores. She'll find Griffin. Griffin dribbles to her left. Passes off to Flores to Ruiz. Ruiz pulls up. She was on the line, so it would be two, but she missed it, and it goes into the hands of Woodruff. Travia Woodruff goes to the left side to Octavia Lowry. Lowry to Woodruff. Woodruff goes out to Brandon. Brandon from the right block. That's up. That misses the rebound going to Ruiz. Streaking down the court is Gonzalez. Gonzalez to Griffin. Griffin pulling up for three. That hits home. Soraya Griffin hits a three-pointer, and she's up to uh, seven points. Octavia Lowry gets the inbound. Travia Woodruff passes to a wide open Octavia Lowry who misses the high, per high per percentage shot. Octavia Lowry is going to be kicking herself for a long time for missing that. Three pointer on the way for Michaela Smith. Yes, sir. Michaela Smith gets the three pointer. Michaela Smith will be up to. Uh, 14 points. And that will be a career or season high. Foul down low on Ruiz. Markiah Tucker Williams and Marissa Hunsberger in for Crowley's Ridge. And Germonte Hester, so two players with only one foul to work with, and Hester and Tucker Williams on either side. Woodruff at the top of the key, picks up her dribble, finds Anu. Anu off the left block, right block, misses. Here's Huntsberger. Huntsberger flings the shot. She'll be fouled, so she'll go to the line to shoot two. Does Marissa Huntsberger. That is 
Pinpoints separate Bacone and Crowley's Ridge. Marissa Huntsberger's first free throw is good. Crowley's Ridge is going to send all four players into the backcourt. As Huntsberger's second free throw is up, it misses, so the rebound goes down to Hester. Soraya Griffin at the top of the key, goes to the left side to Ruiz, now to Gonzalez. Gonzalez off the left block, head fakes, goes down low, puts up a shot, misses, rebound, will be Travia Woodruff. Woodruff, he's down to Anu, Anu up, lays it in. Caprice Anu makes it 70-57. to 13-point lead, largest of the afternoon. Three-pointer on the way from Frenchman, and she knocks it down. Eliana Frenchman now makes it a 10-point game as Markiah Tucker-Williams relaces her shoe. Anu off the right block. That's up. That misses. Rebound. Still being fought for. We're tumbling to the timber. Michaela Smith from 10 feet. That misses. Almost got in. And a kerfuffle down trying to get the ball. We do finally get it. And... I believe Crowley Shridge called timeout to keep possession. Yes. They'll keep the possession, and so we'll have our media timeout. So four minutes, 13 seconds left. Crowley Shridge with a 10-point advantage, 70 to 60. This is Crowley Shridge College Lady Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. Hi, it's Olivia Munn with my shelter pets, Frankie and Chance. Say hi, guys. When I adopted them, I discovered that they both have incredible personalities. Chance's sole purpose in life is to love and to be loved. Frankie is a little bit of a scoundrel and always entertaining. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at theshelterpetproject.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council, the Humane Society of the United States, and Maddie's Fund. I'm Surgeon General Jerome Adams. If you've recovered from COVID-19 confirmed by a positive test, you're in a special position to help us fight the virus. Your plasma has antibodies that may help others fight COVID. So please donate plasma now. You can literally help save lives. There are locations across the country that have safe ways for you to donate. Find a site to donate your plasma at coronavirus.gov. Produced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services at taxpayer expense. This is Kaya. You're listening to Crowley's Ridge Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. Crowley's Ridge is going to get a delay of game warning coming out of the timeout. The buzzer had not yet gone off yet, so not sure why it would be a delay of game warning, but thankfully it was a warning and not a technical foul. Bacone College immediately came out of the timeout, and Coach Phillips wanting to talk more things over. Michaela Smith going to the left side to Travia Woodruff. Woodruff at the t between the circles. She'll go to the left side and finds Michaela Smith. Smith bounce passes to Woodruff. Woodruff pulling up for three. That misses, rebounded by on, uh, Brandon. Underneath is uh, Tucker Williams. She misses the shot. Gonzalez gets the board. To the left side, here's Flores. Flores finds the seam, floats it up to Hester. Hester goes up, she misses her shot. Rebound going to Brandon. Heaving down court to Brandon, outside to Michaela Smith. Smith has to get it from her shoestrings to Woodruff. Woodruff, gonna let the clock tick, make the defender come to her. Smith and Ruiz, Flores rather. Woodruff floats it in from the paint, and that is good. Zariah right, Griffin working the point for the Pioneer, for the Warriors, rather. She'll move to her right side, 248 to go. Flinging up a shot, and Akiva Brandon was moving, and so she'll get the foul. That'll be her, her fourth. 
So now we'll have the media timeout. I think that was what Coach Phillips was worried about. He thought that the last one was extended to a media. But this one is indeed the media timeout. Two minutes, 45 seconds left to go in the contest. Pioneers up 12, 72 to 60. This is Crowley's Ridge College Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. Okay, kids, dad's gonna teach you how to dance. First, spread your feet apart. Then, uh, pump your knee, uh, nod your head, uh, shake your hips, uh, and bite your lip ever so slightly. <laughs> now, with one hand in the air, point at people with the other hand. I call that the rock star. Dance like a dad. It's a great way to make a moment with your kids. Now, make a face like it just smells something bad. Visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Your blood pressure numbers could change your life. Talk to your doctor about creating a plan that works better for you. Start taking the right steps at manageyourbp.org. Brought to you by the American Heart Association, American Medical Association, and the Ad Council. This is Octavia Lauer. You're listening to Curly Ridge Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. Coming out of the timeout, Zariah Griffin will go to the charity stripe shooting two. Griffin, a 48% free throw shooter for the Warriors. Shot is up. That rattles home. One free throw upcoming. She bounces the shot up, and that rattles out. Rebounded by Kiana Hardaway. Kiana Hardaway, Nakiva Brandon on the court with four fouls. Jermonte Hester on the court for the Warriors with one foul. Travia Woodruff content to let the clock go as long as it can. She finds, goes inside, and that's going to be a foul on Hester, and that will do it for Hester. That will be Jermonte Hester's fifth personal foul. The Frenchman will replace Hester. Travia Woodruff's going to inbound. Goes to Octavia Lowry. Lowry on the far corner. Goes up top to Michaela Smith, who hands off to Woodruff. Two minutes, 12 seconds left in the contest. Woodruff goes outside to Lowry. Lowry head fakes the three. She'll drive inside, puts up a floater that misses. Tips it, trying to get the rebound. She is unable to, but she'll get a foul. Octavia Lowry whistled with a foul. That'll be her third foul. And that should be shooting. That is shooting. Had one referee down waiting to pass it in, but that was the fifth foul, and so it is in the bonus. So that's going to send Layla Flores, 5'6 freshman, to the charity strike. She'll hit the first of two. Second on the way, and it is good as well. 123 seconds to go. Travia Woodruff goes as slow as she can across the court. All to Lowry. Lowry will back off and make the defender come to her. To Woodruff. Woodruff with 10 on the shot clock is going to back off. Fakes left, goes right to Hardaway. Hardaway will go off the left block, underneath to Woodruff. Woodruff misses the layup. Here's Ariah Griffin, down to 90 seconds. To the left side is Frenchman. Frenchman pulling up for three, and that rattles home. 72-66 with a minute 20 to go. Travia Woodruff over to Octavia Lowry to Kiana Hardaway. Hardaway underhands to Woodruff. 72-66 is the score. Underneath the Lowry, and Lowry's going to be fouled by Flores. And it's only a, a two-possession game right now, 72-66, but Bacone is just content to let Crowley's Ridge melt clock and melt clock and melt clock. Octavia Lowry will shoot the first of two, and she'll hit that one.
Second free throw from Lowry is true. Eight point game. Outside going to Flores. Flores three pointer misses. Rebound goes off the thigh of Kiana Hardaway. And Coach Neal wants to take a timeout for the Warriors as his Lady Warriors are down eight. This is Crowley's Ridge College, Lady Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. Never completely ready to adopt a team. For late nights writing English papers. For your team's music taste. For dinners, where they talk more on their phone than with you. For the first time, they call you mom. You're never completely ready to adopt a teen, and you can't imagine the reward. To learn more about adopting a teen, visit AdoptUSKids.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. This is Michaela Smith, and you're listening to Crowley's Ridge Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. Gonzalez with the ball off the left elbow. That's up and good. 42 seconds left. And we have a whistle. Clock needing to go back to 42. Uh, and with 60 seconds left, the clock needs to stop after every goal. And it was continuing to run. So resetting the clock to have 42 ticks left. Inbound finds Travia Woodruff. Woodruff will be fouled by Flores. Six-point game. Going to put Travia Woodruff on the line to shoot two. Thirty-nine seconds to go. Both teams in the bonus, so any uh, uh, ensuing fouls will result in two foul shots. 74-68, Lady Pioneers lead. Make it 75-68 after Travia Woodruff goes one for two from the line. Griffin gets the ball. At the top of the key, they need to speed to get buckets. Point is up. She misses the shot. However, she is fouled by Michaela Smith. That is Michaela's second personal foul. So it'll send Zariah Griffin once more to the free throw line. Free throw up and good. One more free throw upcoming. She'll bounce, she'll spin, she'll shoot, she'll score. It's five point game. Kiana Hardaway. Well, almost get a stolen away. Travia Woodruff does get it. Here's Hardaway. Goes down to Brandon. Brandon to Lowry. And Lowry will be fouled by Frenchman. So the Warriors almost caught Kiana Hardaway with a uh, five-second violation trying to inbound. She finally did get it off, and they almost stole it away with it being a two-possession game. Octavia Lowry. Good. Get the shot, and she does get it. It stays a two-possession game. If she hits this next one, it would likely put the nail in the coffin, making it a three-possession game, as it's now a six-point game. Make it a seven-point game. 77-70. to 70. Inbound's going to go. Here is Griffin. Griffin will go to the right side to Gonzalez. Gonzalez drives in. Oh, underneath, shot is up. She misses. So that's going to send Ruiz to the free-throw line for two. So Nakiva Brandon will foul out. He'll end her night with 12 rebounds, 9 points. A solitary point away from a double-double was Nakiva Brandon. First free throw from Ruiz is short off the front iron. 16.5 seconds left in the contest. Seventy 
Second free throw misses. Rebound off the hands of the Warriors. So it's Crowley's Ridge basketball. 15 seconds left. Seven point spread. Hardaway inbounds to Woodruff. Woodruff bounce passes. Stolen away by Flores. Flores lays it up. She misses. Here's Hardaway. Hardaway will finally be fouled. This foul is on Ruiz. Ruiz will get her second or third foul. A lot of sevens on the board. 77, Crowley's Ridge, 7.7 7 seconds left, 70 points for Bacone. John Hardaway's first free throw is good. Second free throw is good as well. Inbound is Bacone. Here is Griffin. Griffin's going to go coast to coast. She finds uh, Ruiz. Ruiz gets the bucket to fall. However, it is too little, too late, as Crowley's Ridge will get the victory, 79-72. to Again, telling in the final score, Crowley's Ridge College Lady Pioneers, 79. Bacone College Lady Warriors, 72. We'll take a short time out and have some post-game stats for you. And, uh... uh Reset things to get ready for the men's contest. But again, telling in the final score, Crowley's Ridge 79, Bacone 72. This is Crowley's Ridge College Pioneer Basketball on the Pioneer Digital Network. What is dedication? I am the father of a nine-year-old little girl and a six-year-old little boy. And I find fatherhood both relentlessly challenging and relentlessly rewarding. My daughter is biological and my son is adopted. I love them both so much. From the morning when you wake up to putting them to bed at night and every moment in between, it really is so special. And boy, is it exhausting. One thing that I fear about being a parent is the future for my children. But I think a parent's job is to protect our children, but also prepare them for the world so they become good, kind human beings. But I'm also hopeful that the future holds a more inclusive and compassionate world for them. That's dedication. Find out more at fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. This is Coach Brad Phillips. You're listening to Crowley's Ridge Basketball and Pioneer Digital Network. We welcome you back for the final time for the women's contest as Crowley's Ridge College gets a victory 79 72. Crowley's Ridge will improve to 3 and 4 on the year. Bacone will fall to 5 and 6. Crowley's Ridge shot 39% from the floor. Bacone shooting 37. From long range, the Pioneers hit a season-high 11 long balls. Bacone hitting 8 of 22 from the charity strike. Crowley's Ridge, Coach Phillips was wanting to improve their number, and they did just that. 16 of 20 free throws, 80%. Bacone, 18 of 29 for 62%. Crowley's Ridge barely eked out a victory on the rebounding battle, 44 to 43. Both teams, good assist number, 16 for the Ridge, 18 for Bacone. Six steals for the Pioneers, four for Bacone. Both teams did well off of turnovers. Crowley's Ridge only caught the ball up 11 times, Bacone 13 times, each team with one block each. Five players, all five starters for the Lady Warriors recorded double digits. That is a good team. Bacone College had 13, uh, they were led by uh, Alizé Ruiz's 19 points, just behind her, 15 from Layla Flores and Eliza Gonzalez, and 13 points coming from Ileana Frenchman, and Zariah Griffin had 10. Alize Ruiz came away with a double-double, 15 rebounds. Eliza Gonzalez was one off of the double-double with nine rebounds. Octavia Lowry breaks her career high. Octavia Lowry coming away with 32 points. That will break her career high of points. Uh, she also, uh, did she break her three-point record? No. She broke her season-high record with eight points, eight three-pointers. So uh, Octavia Lowry, a record-breaking night career at least, 32 points. 
Uh, behind her, 14 out of Michaela Smith, 13 for Travia Woodruff. So the Lady Pioneers will get that victory. They will head next to uh, uh, Lincoln Christian University, where they will face the Warrior, uh, the not Warriors, the Red Lions of Lincoln Christian College. That will be January 16th at 3 p.m. against Lincoln Christian University. They are not college, they are university. And double checking that tied the uh, career high for uh, points in a game uh, for Octavia Lowry. Octavia Lowry had 32 points. That ties Crowley's Ridge College's single game record. Hannah Willard had 32 points against Baptist Bible College back in 2017. So a uh, uh, so close, but a good job. Uh, obviously, a great night for Octavia Lowry. But we're going to take a timeout.